Peggy Lee and Margarita Brinton both wore red to their schools for Red Dress Day on May 5th. They wanted to honor those women that had been lost while also spread awareness, but say their schools did not recognize the day. Peggy Lee is a grade 10 student at College Sturgeon Heights Collegiate. Nothing was spoken, nothing was shown, nothing was said. And it was like our voices were being silenced again and ignored. And I was very heartbroken to know that something that's so serious, something that's life or death for our people, was simply being ignored and pushed aside like it was nothing. Despite the school sending a message to remind students and staff of the day, nothing was done. Margarita is a grade 8 student at a Cole Ness. I was upset when I noticed that none of the staff nor the students were wearing any sort of red in honor of our sisters. Um, it was not mentioned in school. There was no announcement of it. But my teacher, um, taking our attendance, put Cinco de Mayo on the board because it was the Day of the Dead, but didn't put MMIWG on the board. Peggy Lee says she felt hopeless by the lack of acknowledgement. It makes you feel hopeless because this is really a matter of life or death. Like we actually die and go missing all of the time. I could be next. My sister could be next. My mother could be next. It doesn't matter to them because it's not their sisters or mothers that are going missing. It's not their life at risk. But to us, our lives are literally at risk. The girl's father says he was disheartened when they told him what happened. It's um, very disheartening that that's what we got for a school board because it's their responsibility. We don't expect the students, every student to know about this. We send our kids to school to learn and to understand what's going on around them. It's our school boards and our teachers that should be teaching this. And it's never going to stop or slow down or anything unless people are aware and are outraged about it. We reached out to St. James' Assiniboia School Division, which governs both schools, and they sent the following email when asked about the situation, saying in part, Our school division is on its own reconciliation journey, educating our students, families, staff, and community. While some of our schools chose to honor murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls on May 5th, our other schools will plan to do it on the provincial date of October 4th. The sisters hope more education around MMIWG is needed and the schools need to get on board. Daryl Stranger, APTN National News, Winnipeg.